Myself, Dr. B. Gurusamy, working as the Assistant Professor at the Department of BCom BBS in NGM College. I am handling the management accounting right now. First, we are going to discuss about definition, introduction, importance of management accounting, scope of management accounting, technician management accounting, then conclusion. First, we are going to discuss about the definition. Managed accounting use capital budgeting assess the company performance related to finance. That is called management accounting. For the purpose of find out the whether company have a normal growth or abnormal growth or decreasing growth in terms of financial area, we are using the management accounting. As a financial manager, you must observe the your company transaction in terms of monthly wise, quarterly wise, offerly wise, yearly wise. Managed accounting, also called as management accounting, is a method of accounting that creates statements, reports and documents that help management in making better decisions related to their business performance. Suppose if you are going to expand your business, you must take an appropriate decision related to your business organization. Then only you can go ahead with the expansion. That time you must use the management accounting appropriately. As a GM, or a MD or shareholder, you must aware of the what is your current financial performance of your company? That is called management accounting. You can see what are the functions of managing accounting. It helps in forecasting future profit as well as cash flow and fund flow of your company. Then it will help to determine break-even point of the company. That is whether your company meet out the profit or loss. That is called PEP, break-even point. Then it will support the managers in identifying the what are the bottlenecks or difficulties they are facing. Then it will help to analyze the trends of business using various techniques like current, ass current assets ratio, liquid ratio, etc. What are the importance of management accounting? You can see it provides data. It serves a vital source of data for planning. Without planning, you can't do any business. Suppose if you want going to do the business, you must plan well in advance. That time the management people or shareholder, employee, employer, all the people need data, including the government sector people want aware of our company data. That time you can use the this data. You can see you can't use a raw data. You must analyze the data as a quantity data into quality data. Like out of 100 percentage, 75 percentage you are getting the profit, 85 percentage you are getting the profit. That is called data analysis. For the purpose of analyzing the data, we are using the two types of ratios. That is called tools. One, one is called as short-term solvency ratio. Another one is called as long-term solvency ratio. Next. What are the aids that is help regarding the meaningful discussion? Management accounting can be used as a means of communicating a course of action throughout the organization. Throughout the whole year, we can be able to monitor the financial transaction of the company with the help of management accounting. Then in the initial stage, it uh, depicts the organization feasibility and consistency of various segments of a plan. Whether it is possible to grow or we can gut it out the business with the help of management accounting, we can get the decision or we can predict the future. Then for the purpose of achieving your organization's goal with the help of management accounting, you can be able to achieve. Whether it is feasible or not, we can analyze through the management accounting. Then, use qualitative information. Management accounting doesn't restrict itself to quantitative information alone. It takes into account qualitative information which cannot be measured in terms of money. Suppose your company is running a uh, very good position, but we can't say very good or uh, excellent. We can say 75 percentage of my turnover is good, we are getting the 95 percentage of profit. That is called qualitative area we can measure like this. Then, what are the scope of managed accounting? The main objectives of managed accounting is to maximize the profit of the company. Then, it's concentrate the presentation of the data to predict the inconsistency in finance that helps managers make important decisions. Suppose if you are going to present the data in front of the your officers, your boss, or your head, or your MD, this details will be helpful. Then what you can infer from financial accounting is limited to numerical results alone, like profit and loss. But in management accounting, you can discuss the cost and the effect of relationship between the uh, uh, between the profit area as well as loss area. Managing accounting uses easy to understand techniques such as standard costing, margin costing, profit appraisal, and control costing, etc. 
then using historical data you can see take for example the gold rate uh, 20 years before what was the rate right now what is the rate like this we can able to compare the any product variable in terms of price and quantity then management accounting can use this type of accounting to set objectives permit plan to meet them and compare the performance in various departments. Take for example, comparatively, your production department as well as market department. What is the difference between production department as well as market department? In terms of financial manner, you can able to compare. It is a rearrangement of information and financial statements and depends on its for making decision. What in the rearrangement means? Suppose if you are getting the less profit one business, you can arrange the alternate business. That is called rearrangements. Marginal analysis. It will help to analyze the various types of cost. You can see this deals with the benefits of increased production cost. Production cost, variable cost, material cost, labor cost, we can able to analyze with the help of this data. Then constraint analysis. We want point out the whether company has reached the appropriate level or unappropriate level. With the help of constraint analysis, we can able to identify. That is called fund flow statement or case flow statement. With the help of this tools, we can identify the constraint means limitation of the company. Then budgets. Before launching any financial plan, you must budget your finance position. The budget is based on the, your profit level as well as previous company performance. You can see here, the forecasting the future is very tough. But with the help of present data, you can able to predict the future. What happened in 2014 or 2020 or 2025, we can able to predict. Previous, present, past, we can able to predict with the help of lot of forecasting tools. That is called, already I told you, you know, current, current analysis, capital analysis, etc. Then, conclusion. In overall, the management accounting is more useful to the managerial people for taking the appropriate decision whether we can run the company or we can stop the company or we can relaunch the company or we can re-modify the product or we can re-modify the entire management system. That is the reason why we are using the management accounting. It is not a mandatory but it is a compulsory as a manager, as a financial manager, as a owner of the company, as a shareholder. You must aware or you must prepare the management accounting. Then only you can run the company very smoothly. You can see the last one is, you can see, you can see, is present the data related to finance information in regular interval. Maybe already I told in the beginning itself, monthly wise you can prepare the management accounting or quarterly that is once in a three months or once in a six months or once in a year we can prepare the management accounting. If you are preparing monthly, you can be able to identify what are the area you have a lack, what are the area you have a potential growth. Likewise, you can be able to predict the future as well as present with the help of management accounting. Comparatively balance sheet, we are preparing the trading account, BNL account, balance sheet. But here, we are preparing only the management accounting with the help of some technical tools. Already told, one is ratio analysis, second one is fund flow statement, third one is case flow statement, fourth one is budget control. That's all. Thank you very much for your...